Well, hey there, model community. Welcome back to another quick and easy tutorial. And as you can tell in the thumbnail and title, I'm going to show you how I do my batteries, how I wire them up, and everything. So, I'm working on the 71 Mustang here, and I'm getting to the point to where I have the battery here and I need to install it. So, how I do my batteries starting off, I'll go ahead and I'll paint the battery one solid color. Usually, it's, they're just black. Now, once I get it nice and painted, then I check out how the terminals are on the battery. Now, not all batteries have the terminals molded into them. So, if I flip this over here, you can see this one does have terminals. Now, all batteries are a little different. The terminals are different sizes. Now, I might be able to use these terminals without modifying them. Now, if I have to modify them, then what I'll do is I'll come up through the bottom here. And I will drill a hole, a very small hole, in the very bottom where the terminals are. And then once I do that, then I will take a very thin piece of wire and come up and make my own terminal. Now, I use these here from ProTech. Detail Masters also carries these and probably some other companies out there. These are photo etched. And as you can tell, I've been using these. And they are extremely small. So I'm going to use this here as an example. The Chevelle here. Now there's different type of terminals. I'm building this one here for a friend. So I didn't put the ones that I like the most on it. Sorry, friend. Uh, the ones I like most are these here that's all the way to the right. They look a little bit more what you would see. These round ones is what I got on his, and then they come with smaller ones. And then here are clamps and straps that I haven't used yet, but... Therefore, pretty much clamping the uh, battery down. But pretty much, once I got the battery painted up like I have mine, first I check the terminals. If, if I need to modify them, then I come up through the bottom with the wire like I told you. Now, once I have the terminals how I need them, then what I do is I find a wire to go into the terminal. So I got the positive and the negative, uh, sometimes a red and black, uh, sometimes a red and green. But either or, I uh, get my wire. These here, these wires are actually bread ties. And I just painted them up like this. Or, if you guys can find wire small enough, use the wires from your distributors. If you have any extra or... This wire here came out of a phone charger. Those work very, very good. I also got some in the back off the firewall. But anyhow, uh, once you got your wire, then you're, what you do is you take your terminal, you very carefully clip it off of there, and you see that little flat piece on the end there. How I do mine is I very carefully grab this part here, and then I take my pliers and I grab this flat part and I bend it downwards to 90 degrees and I take this other side and bend it down to 90 degrees. That way it kind of looks like a staple in a way. Now once I've got that, then I will take my wire, dab it in just a, the smallest amount of super glue and I'll put it right in there in that little groove or between the 290 degrees and I'll let that dry. Now once that's completely dry and I'm confident that it's, that it's completely dry then I take my pliers and I fold over both 90 degree spots. I fold it up and over uh, the wire. Now, while doing that, it might be a little bit finicky. I've done this quite a bit, so it does take a lot of practice. And then I, I like to just dab just a 
a little bit more super glue. I use this stuff, works great. But anyway, once I got the wire, then I position the battery in place. Now, if you're using a actual wire like this, that's nice and flexible, that's the easiest way of doing it. Because then you could bend it in place and find out where it's gonna go and find out the length. Now, if you're using one of these like I have here, then you have to go back and forth and bend it, put it in there, bend it back and forth to make sure that it's in there properly and make sure that when you place it in there that it looks like it's sagging. You see here how it's sagging in there. It's not like stiff. And then you just wire it up where they need to go. So that's pretty much it. This is the product that I like to use here. Protec. And again, Detail Masters also carries these. Um, that's simple enough. You just take it fold them over the wire and then put them in place now remember on your battery if your terminals you have to modify them you could see that there i should be able to use these no problem but if you have to modify them just come up through the bottom and drill come up with a little wire or whatever you need to do and then use that as a terminal so I hope that this helps you guys out. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you all for watching and supporting my channel. So please stay tuned and I'll see you all next time.